I like to improvise and just just do what comes natural. You're kind of flowing around the ramp, or the way that you land your trick, or if you did it right or if you did it wrong, that's going to dictate what you're going to end up doing on the next wall. I guess your mind's constantly, you know, it's constantly making up the path that you're going to take, I guess. And that's what's so cool about skateboarding, is just, like, you look at the world in a whole different way. Like, the world looks totally different. Skating vert takes a few years before you start getting good and you start to be able to, you know, do proper airs out the top and all that kind of stuff. It has to be like that with vert. You have to really, uh, yeah, keep chipping away at it. And it's an ongoing addiction, if you like. You know, some people, they're more like, wow, we go, you know, let's go now. You know, like, I like being technical but clean as well. When you get a good pump and things are moving really good and you're fine, it's, it's just rad, it just feels sick. to know street skating if you skate vert as well because you can take the tricks from the street and put it on the vert ramp. I think just seeing seeing certain guys do it when I was a kid was that's what got me hyped on it, you know? Like that looks fucking rad. I gotta do that, you know. <laughs> Going from street skating all the way to what Danny Way did with the skateboard is just is just limitless, you know. There are gonna be things done in ten years that no one would have even, even thought would be possible today, you know. So. Yeah, I dream about skateboarding all the time. I get those dreams where I, I can't skate, and you just like, you try to jump on your board, and you just fall, like, eat shit all the time. But then sometimes you get the good dreams, where you just, you just like, skate, like, just doing anything you want. <laughs> you can't fall off. Yeah, those are good.